starting anything in life is it's not easy it is not easy we seek guidance in everything that we start we need advice so that is why i decided to make this video and i was also getting a lot of questions on my social media on how to take care of your hair and which products i use all those questions and i decided why not make it into a video hey guys welcome back to my channel this is lana australia back with another one on today's video we are going to be talking about starting your natural hair stay tuned the first thing that you need to think about before if before you start actually cutting your hair or transitioning is why why do you want to start the journey of experimenting with your natural hair or growing out your natural hair why do you want to go natural because you cannot say i want to go natural because a lot of people are going natural you cannot say i want to have or to wear my natural hair because you saw who and who doing their hair so you need to understand why are you doing your natural hair because your why will be the one that will keep you going having having natural hair is not an easy process at all but it is also not a difficult it is a learning process so you need your why to keep you motivated throughout your journey secondly there's two ways in which you can go natural we have your big chop and your transitioning so your big chop is when you cut all of your hair off all of your damaged hair or all of your relaxed hair you just cut it off and leave a small amount of hair or just a brush cut that is starting fresh from from fresh yeah that is starting from fresh and that is what is called a big chop now, the other one is transitioning now with transitioning what happens is that you leave your hair to grow and once you see that your natural hair is growing out the one which we call e growth during our relaxed days so when you see that hair you leave that hair alone you don't touch it you don't mess around with it you just moisturize your hair so you maintain the hair underneath so that it grows up to a length that you like and then you just chop off the top hair that is relaxed damaged or the hair that you don't like and you stay with the natural hair that is left behind after chopping off the hair you don't want that is transitioning those two are that they're not that different but there's a difference between the two so sometimes you find someone who who says that they they big chopped while they transitioned and that has some sort of a negative effect on other people because it's like wow you big chopped two months ago and now your hair is this length but no it's just a, a slight difference but it has a, a signif significant effect on people who are watching you or who follow you third point is after you big chop or after you transition or during that process you must do your research and find out your hair type once you know your hair type it will make it easier for you to take care of your hair now with hair types it depends on the hair strand what type of curl pattern the hair strand has so we have from 1a hair type 1a to all the way through to head to hair type 4c now most africans are type 4c hair type 4b and 4c hair and we have others who are referred to as 4z um those hair strands don't have a defined coil or curl pattern so you need to just go on the internet go on google and just research hair types and then once you find your coil pattern go down again research on those um on that specific hair type so after you have figured out which hair type you are um then you need to go a, a, a step further and research on how to maintain or take care of that specific hair type now online there are tons and tons and tons of routines on how to maintain your hair there are many influencers that have set ways and like yeah for sure this is the way on how to take care of your hair just be careful when you just follow people people's rules people's routines they don't work for everyone so it's okay to take a piece from that one a piece from that other one 
make them come together and make your own routine and in time be patient be really patient in time you will find what works for you and you will be the one who is giving people advice <laughs> when it comes to natural hair there's three steps there's washing conditioning and treatments and moisturization so you need to find out about the three research about the types of shampoos types of conditioners and deep conditioners deep conditioners and treatments and the moisturization methods and you will find your way around it it's not really difficult once you get to know your hair once you get used to the process ah, you will flow you will flow last point is product selection now product selection can be a very tedious process when you don't know what you're looking for especially when you're starting out throughout the years i have come to learn a lot about my hair and understand how it reacts to certain products so now i don't struggle when it comes to selecting products in the product aisle for me personally i would advise you you do not need the whole product range for the for that product to work for you you can take a shampoo from product a a conditioner from pro from product b a butter from product e and they can all work perfectly for your hair just because the sh shampoo a from shampoo from product a worked really well for you it doesn't mean the conditioner will work really well for you too it might actually not work at all for you so what i suggest when it comes to product selection is start small ask yourself these questions what are you looking for what do you want from the product do you want moisturization do you want it to strengthen your hair to treat your damaged hair or to just stimulate hair growth now you need to just read labels just read the labels what they say what the product offers and most importantly go to the ingredient list you don't need for me personally you don't need to read the whole list yama product just the first three five ingredients are okay the first three should include water water is very important so the first three products should include water sometimes it is referred to as aqua well most of the time it's referred to as aqua so if they have e aqua then you are good to go and then just make sure you read what the product does for you if it's a shampoo read if it moisturizes your hair without stripping your hair too much if it conditions it balances the ph of your hair really well after you wash so you just need to look out for that you must go to the shop with a mindset of this is what i want the product to do for me not oh my gosh i'm looking for natural hair products you will get confused walking to, before you leave your house even on a on a what you want I, if i walk out of the house i must know i want a shampoo that cleanses my hair and removes dandruff when i get to the product aisle what do i look for Clean, cleansing shampoo dandruff control it must have those okay sometimes it doesn't but you just as time goes by it'll be easier for you and honestly there is no dead definite way of selecting your products there are so many products out there so that's why you need to just start small within your budget uh, whatever makes you feel comfortable and just go with that and yeah as as time goes on you will learn more about your hair you will see how your hair reacts <laughs> You will see how your hair reacts to certain products and it's all grand. And this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me. If you liked the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, just comment down below or hit me up on my socials, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I have linked them down below. Thank you for watching. This is La Natural Yasa. I'm out and I will see you.